should you really move out of your parents house or you should stay at home adulting is to get to your coming to lagos hold money to period hi guys welcome back to my channel um today's video i'm just going to briefly talk about adulting in 2023 moving out of your parents house to expect when you're moving to lagos or any other big city i already filmed like the the tutorial for this look i'm interested in that you can check it out as well should you really move out of your parents house or you should stay at home because at this point everything is so expensive standard of living is so high and it's not just nigeria i feel like it's everywhere as well just be telling you guys what i have experienced within the last um five months yeah five months you don't know me my name is ufoma okoto i'm 23 years old i'm a youtuber i'm a medical lab scientist i am a makeup artist as well so like if you know in african families it's not really the normal thing for you to move out of your parents house compared to maybe if you're abroad if you're 18 you're expected to move out but if you're nigerian and especially if you're female if you're a girl there is kind of like let's say frowned upon for you to move out of your parents house they would expect you in certain cultures mostly everywhere in nigeria for you to just get married straight from your father's house recently many people have been moving out of their parents house so yeah i wanted to talk about stance me i just moved out of my parents house for nyc purposely to lagos i moved to lagos in january this is june and i've actually not stayed here for long and i don't know if i will really even stay here but yeah let's get into the tea let's get the tea first thing i want to say is that if you do want to move out of your parents house make sure that you do have some money saved up and not just for rent but just some money saved up period don't just move out because any everybody's moving out um people are leaving you just feel like you should join the trend move out because you want to uh, move out at your own pace everybody's journey is not the same a moving out savings i feel like what is not talked about is accommodation you don't necessarily have to stay alone you can stay with your family members you can live in a shared apartment there are just so many ways for you to get accommodation you can also like keep a savings for just your accommodation get a house that is within your budget you can have a roommate so that you can cut costs on things like light and other things like so you getting money saved up also helps you to cushion your yourself in case of maybe emergency or other expenses that you did not plan for because there are so many things that would come up that you will not plan the second thing i also want to talk about is that do look for like a source of income for you to move out i feel like you have to not necessarily have a source of income actually but you have to be working towards it at least working towards like a source of income and like just shall have money to get adulting is to get to also i feel like different cities have different standards of living lagos is really expensive so if you're coming to lagos hold money that is the end of the story period think that maybe you're moving from port harcourt you're moving from calabar everything is going to be as cheap as it's not because it's expensive especially if you're staying on the island they just there are still places that you can get like um affordable things but even the affordable things is still on the high side compared to other states maybe if you're paying transportation 500 to a particular place in your own state you come here it might be 700 it might be 1000 you get so that is how high the standard of living is here do at your own place like me right now, I'm staying with my sister. I'm not staying alone. I will hopefully get my own apartment. You're doing just do it at your own place. Don't rush so much to do something. Then you not get like stuck in it. So it's just always better for you to do everything at your pace. Where whether it's moving out 
or wherever you're moving into just make sure that you're doing it at your own pace The other thing I want to talk about is that you're actually alone. Even though maybe you're staying with someone or you have a roommate or you're staying with your family, whatever it is, you're actually still alone. Because at the end of the day, you only just have yourself now and you have to like pick up yourself and do things. Um, nobody, Nobody's coming to tell you, oh, you have to do this. Nobody's coming to, nobody's going to tell you, you have to do that, you have to do this. Nobody's coming to say, if you're going, if you want to sleep on your bed, from morning to night, you're going. That's what you're gonna do. Nobody is going to come and start making noise and saying, "Oh, you have to go and do this, do your homework, do this, do that, do this, go to work." Nobody ever. Nobody is going to tell you that. So I feel like discipline comes in, and this was kind of a shock for me because I'm quite a lazy person. I'm not gonna lie, but I have noticed that once you move in, you see growth. You see growth in you being able to do things because you're now an adult you're trying to be an adult and you have to do those things it just gives you a sense of responsibility more of like hold yourself accountable you have to heal as well i also noticed that whatever trauma that you've gone through whatever you actually have the more you're away from your parents the more you actually heal because you'll be forced mm, you'll be forced to, to develop yourself by fire by force because if you don't do it who's gonna do it for you so it's actually really really hard but at the end of the day one step at a time actually just get better one percent every day just know that you're taking everything one step at a time and it just helps you to pace yourself and actually see growth so guys i just realized when editing this that i left out the part about anxiety that can come from you moving out and i just wanted to say like just take it easy and take it slow you have to like find a way to cope actually what really helped me was reading um some books um being more spiritual in the sense of knowing that god is always going to be there for me and i don't want to make it too religious because i know everyone is not a christian but just knowing that there is a higher power above me that is going to look out for me just really helps and it also helps for you to develop your mind as well and be as positive as you can and maybe listen to podcasts or books or meditation also helps uh, making positive thoughts being in a positive frame of mind and just rejecting anxiety as a whole also helps as well so yeah i just wanted to add that because i actually could not find the clip that i said it in out of your parents house also comes with loneliness it comes with a sense of you being alone because you're actually alone you get whether you're with people whether you're living with family whatever there's just this um independence and loneliness that comes with it it is harder for you when you don't have maybe a partner or you don't have as much friends because to be honest the more you grow up the more you're gonna lose friends friendships are i feel like friendships are going to come and go and it's okay but just be open to meeting new people and just be open to growing and then you have to develop a skill of being alone like being by yourself talk like being by yourself without anybody it really helps because most times you might be alone do you get so it really helps for you to develop the skill of being alone and liking it and because some people can be alone to be honest they can't stay a day alone just by themselves do you get they have to always attach to somebody they have to attach to something so it just helps for you to create habits that help you to be a, develop a personal relationship with yourself because the more you have a relationship with yourself the more it will be easier for you to um, get more comfortable being a part of asking for help. And it's okay for you to ask for help from your family, from people that you love. It's, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay for you to ask for help because I feel like 
this whole idea of you have to make it on your own or you have to do certain things on your own you don't always have to be alone allow other people to help you you can allow people to be there for you that is what life is about it's about building community and being able to express yourself with your loved ones and your family so i feel like that really helped me to ask for help asking for help really helped me because at the end of the day you can't do it you know whether it's help financially or emotionally whatever it is always know that to be honest you're not alone even though it's god that you're going to ask for help if you don't have any family or you don't have any friend just have a community that you can go to and ask for help on certain issues because to be honest moving out of your parents house is actually a lot the whole process is quite a lot i feel like nigerian children especially need to move out because they are moving out of so much comfort and then also nigerian parents to be honest they make you so dependent on them because in nigeria we don't have you can't work if you're in school you can't do all those things if you're in school especially if you attended like maybe a private university you can't do all those things in school so it makes you less independent when you come out when you come out of school and you now have to like do all those things because even when i was in abroad they were like if you want to even maybe sell something they might even confiscate your things and maybe they won't allow you to do certain things they won't say just school 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 but then when you come out you actually have to do those things do you get or put you and just throw you into the real real education out there letting people know that okay this is how it's going to be try as much as possible to develop yourself if you're younger push yourself to learn a skill and i'm not even talking about just maybe makeup or photography or whatever there are other skills that you can learn as well that might just help you because even though you have a nine to five to be honest anything can happen so it's always easier for you to have like an extra source of income which is hard it's hard i'm not gonna lie but you just have to have that extra source of income so that you kind of um pushing yourself do you get one day at a time don't rush make sure that you're you're doing everything that that is aligning with you that is aligning with your values also say like money does play a, a very important factor in moving out of your parents house so to be honest some people always get money i feel like there are two types of people in this world and people that know how to manage money and people that don't you can't be spending money like tomorrow doesn't exist you have to when when you get your money let's say you get your allowance or your salary or whatever it is that you're depending on move some of it you keep it in your savings i feel like that's the best thing maybe you move 20 percent maybe you move 10 percent depends on how much you get you get remove some of the money put it in miscellaneous maybe like um emergency fund something like that money easy to pay your bills then whatever is left i feel like you should put it back in miscellaneous some people will be earning one million naira or 1.5 million two million a month but they are living hand to mouth they can't they can't budget they can't use money well they always have to spend money on things that they don't need maybe if the money comes oh they have to buy a bag they have to do this. they have to buy a new wig they have to do this they have to do that they have to, they have not paid their bills they they don't they've not paid their light bills they've not filled up their gas they've not taken care of their house if you're moving out of your parents house the main thing you should focus on your food what you, your food maybe transportation to work um things you need in your house like maybe light water and stuff like that those are the things that you should focus on your necessities it helps you to build a, a good habit a good habit a good relationship with money and as nobody's coming to tell you don't spend your money on this don't spend your money on that whenever you get your money nobody is there it's just you and the money so it just it's just up to you to build that good relationship with money and make sure that your money works for you and not the other way around one million two million but they don't have food in their house why because they are so bad it's okay if you're like that but you need to stand up you need to do better you need to be don't 
get things that you don't need. Don't do things that you don't need. Learn to say no. Learn to say no, to be honest. Always stay within your budget, whether it's getting a house or whatever it is that you're getting. This video was helpful and I hope this is too chit chat because this video, I don't really want it to be long. I just wanted to tell you guys like my experience. Yeah. Yeah. And also guys, don't forget to be kind to other people. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let me know of your own experience moving to like a new city, what has helped you and stuff like that because I feel like everybody's experience is quite different because we are never going to be the same. We are not the same. So yeah. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. Bye.